Greetings, Moffat Mustangs. Nice to see you again on our online YouTube channel. Mrs. Trigueros, your principal here, along with Ms. Feliciano, our elementary student support specialist. So we are gonna talk about being responsible this week. However, I wanna make sure to go back and celebrate all of you who were super respectful. And so here are my shout outs to each of you. Thank you for being respectful. We have Daniel Olivares in Ms. Raslan's class. Logan Reyes with Mr. J, awesome job being respectful. Nathan Gonzalez in Mrs. Fergosi's class. You were attentive, polite, you wait your turn and you're kind to your peers. Wow, what an amazing example. Aiden Storm in Mrs. Claussen's class, you are always going above and beyond with the quality of your work, way to be respectful. Rodrigo Castaneda in Ms. Perez's class, wow, thank you for being respectful, friend. Kirsten Davia in Mrs. Wharton's class, Giselle Perez, in Mr. Santana's class, Salvador Velasquez and Mrs. Cueto Sanchez's class. Wow, listen to these respectful students, Ms. Feliciano, it's awesome. So awesome. Dylan Segura and Mrs. Leguizamon's class, way to go. Alice Mendez and Kenneth Powell in Ms. McGregor's class, way to be respectful, two friends, fantastic. Sophie Miranda in Mr. Dagimo's class, thank you for being respectful. Deanna Woolard, awesome job in Mrs. Johnson's class, and Stephanie Perez in Mrs. Vargas's class. Thank you, friends, for being respectful. So I look forward to shouting out for responsibility next week. So we are going to talk about being responsible. Take it away, Mrs. Ms. Feliciano. Well, let's discuss ways that can help you be responsible. Yeah. Now, first thing is we need to learn how to focus. So when you're focused, it helps you to be on time, be prepared for class, and complete all of your tasks and assignments in class. Yes, that is hard. And I know that this, I like this image because it's about our attentoscopes and you have focused attention. Is that really though easy to do, Ms. Feliciano, do you think? It sometimes it can be really difficult to yeah. focus, especially when we're working at home, when we're trying to do our classes at home. There are a lot of distractions here. Really so it's so important to help you stay focused that you keep a calm body, uh -huh. have a quiet voice, uh -huh. concentrate, okay. and ignore distractions. Oh, hmm. Uh, Mrs. Trigueros? Oh, uh, Mrs. yes. It's actually really helpful if you take the distractions out of your environment. Oh, you mean my squishy ball that I was tossing up and down? Oh. Yeah. It's always helpful if you remove toys from your environment, phones. Ah, yes, my phone. Uh -huh. Yeah. Food, eat at lunchtime, eat mm. during your breaks, but don't snack in front of you. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's always <laughs> helpful. It really is. And I, we make light of it, students, but I, <laughs> Tell you that I no, want. No, don't get in. No, no. Oh, I'm sorry. Miss Felicia. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I uh, my puppy was. She was getting into something she wasn't supposed to. Wow. So I had to. No, no, puppy. See, and so this is actually a really good example of uh, maybe. No. And what can you do about your new brand new puppy? Well, I think what I'm going to do is have her. Um, from now on, I'm going to work in a different room than where she's at. And that way, you know, she's not distracting me when I'm working. I know pets can be distracting sometimes and we love them and everything, but let's try and focus, focus on our, our work. <laughs> yeah, that's very hard to ignore. But I will tell you students, I do go in and I do see, you know, balls being thrown in the air, people eating, you know, pets, etc. So fun, but we have to be focused during our class time. Absolutely. So the things that we can do when there, when something is a distraction, we have to ignore them. So tell us ways how to do that, Ms. Feliciano. Well, you can find a quiet place to work, as we discussed, a place that's free of distractions. Uh, wear headphones if it helps you, okay? Uh, turn off the TV. Don't go on websites you're not supposed to be on. Get devices away that you're not supposed to be using for your classes, you know, any phones or iPads that you don't need for your class. That always helps. And we could also work on self-talk. Oh, okay. So give me an example of that. Like, what can I do for self-talk? 
So self-talk, what you can do is you can talk to yourself in your head or in a very quiet voice um, to try and help motivate you and keep you on task. Sometimes it helps if you're working on an assignment, it helps to repeat the directions out loud. Ah. So for example, you know, okay, solve this problem for, you know, two, you just say it out loud in front of you. Circle all words that begin with, sometimes talking to yourself out loud helps you stay focused and just ignore, ignore, ignore distractions. Okay. Well, that's really helpful, actually. Um, so Moffitt Mustangs, that is your video about focus and concentrate. And as you can hear, there are distractions. We do want to play with balls because you have to sit. But please be responsible this week. We look forward to celebrating you. Your teachers are going to be watching and looking for you to be responsible. So remember, ignore distractions. You're, get out your attentoscopes, really focus. And um, being on time for class, be prepared and complete your assignments. Now, how can we be on time for class? Do you have a suggestion, Ms. Feliciano? Because I know it's hard. One great suggestion is to use a timer. Okay. And I know most of your devices, especially if you got them from Moffitt, have a timer built into them that you can use to remember to go back at a specific time. If, you have a, if your teacher says be back in 30 minutes, set that timer for 30 minutes. And it'll help you be on time. And I look forward to celebrating all of you who are completing your tasks and your assignments. I know your teachers are there to help you with everything. So this week, do your best. Have a great week. And be, be responsible. responsible. Okay, everybody. Bye, Muffin Mustangs. Bye. See you next week.